Well, welcome to this week's edition of The Don't Argue, with the king of the Don't Argue himself in Kirk Gidley and kids. <laughs> I'll tell you what, big fella, I am looking at what you are putting out tonight. This is so exciting. This is the Knights Old Boys, big fella, and you've got a massive weekend coming up this weekend. Mate, big weekend, Matty, and it's uh, this isn't my Mad Monday dressed up kit. This is uh, <laughs> this is my Knights, Knights Old Boys kit. It's got the... Uh, the once a night old boys logo there, and and this uh, this is a bit of a, well, it's a one off hat, mate. It's my it's my player number here, number one four three, awesome. and it's got the old boys emblem there, and the and the old boys uh, the the knights emblem on the front. So, mate, um, the old boys they they uh, present this cap to every every player who makes their Newcastle Knights debut. So it doesn't matter if you played two hundred games previously or it's your first NRL debut uh, on behalf of the old boys. We present this to the to the current player who's making their debut for the Newcastle Knights. That is fantastic, mate. So it's a bit like the old baggy green tradition, kids, and uh, every player. And you're playing number one forty three to make your debut for the Newcastle Knights. That is as good as it gets. I love it. Yeah, mate. It's you know it's not something you're going to wear down the street for for a coffee. I get that, but you know what? <laughs> it's a uh, it's got some sentimental value, and and I wear it. Uh, well, this is. This is twice a year, but I certainly wear it once a year, and that's that's back to Old Boys Day, which yeah. is a, a big reunion on uh, on Sunday. So hopefully that can lift the current players because we need something. something. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, uh, and your side, the Knights, let you down. You were you were all over the highest team game score last week, mate, and the Eels and the Broncos are where you went. I think it was about eight fifty or something. The odds, yeah, and you've been nutted by your Newcastle Knights, big fella. Oh, <laughs> and the mate, Coast Titans. I found it. I, I thought I'd tapped into a whole new market here on the Palmer Bet <laughs> app, and I stumbled across it. It was about eight or eight bucks fifty, and I was calculating the game. I think there was another game that uh, had only fallen one point behind the the Power and, and Eels game, and then sure enough, Sunday afternoon rolls around, and the uh, the old lack of defence from the uh, Titans and the Knights it it, uh, it took over my my best value bet for last week. Unbelievable, mate. You, you could not script it any better, to be honest. Uh, the yeah. way, you know, your first game, your first cab off the ranks, you had to sit through every other game. You got there, and virtually the, the, the last game of the round, mate, gets you done, and it's your old side uh, My that team. Uh, goes against yeah. you. Hey, listen, uh, we're heading into the final round this weekend, of course, kids. Uh, it's going to be an absolute cracker, but let's have a look uh, in the bunker, of course, at last week. All thanks to Palmer Bed, of course. And the Eels really hitting some good form against the Broncos, mate. Um, this is the real Eels that we've seen kind of throughout the year. They've been a little bit hot and cold, a bit up and down. But if they take this form into the final series, anything can happen, kids. Yeah, I heard uh, Moses there on the, on the radio this afternoon just saying they had a bit of a talk around, you know, they want their defence to be resilient and tough over the last couple of weeks. They've probably showed that. So, yeah, a good win for the Eels to be back into um, into some momentum leading into the semis, which is where they want to be. They, you know, they certainly want, might want to drop this week's game, but they've uh, they've found a little bit of form and they've found some toughness and resilience in their defence and, and they're looking pretty good again. What about Kevy Spray, mate? What was your take? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of the big old-fashioned old spray, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if, if all the players respond to that i guess these days you know that's the yeah, that's, that's the, the concern issue. i see you know i've seen this i've seen the spray and i thought yeah it's that's definitely warranted um but how do the players respond i know there's some speculation around in the media that uh some of the players haven't responded really well to that because it was too harsh They're like yeah i mean come on too harsh please you deserve it when you when it's required um you're but playing rugby boys that dry- that's right yeah but does that does that type of spray drive a wedge between some of the players who are potentially a little bit more mentally fragile? We'll, we'll yeah. see this weekend. Yeah, it's mate, they're, be... they're, the wheels the wheels have fallen off a bit there, like, and yeah, the pressure's well, heavily on them. You called this last week, you know, when we're talking about the three yeah. teams that can make that final eighth position, and uh, you're all over this. Um, and they the the last thing they needed last week was a thumping, you know, because their for yeah. and against was so tight. Um, so, yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting to see what comes this weekend. I, I've got a feeling, I, I reckon, I reckon you're right. I reckon they're cooked. I reckon. Uh, I think they're gone. I think they're gone. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, resting, let's rest and sell what sell and cover there. I'm not sure if that was the right move, resting a 19 year old, like get him out yeah. there. Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll wait and see this weekend. I don't think they can recover. Did I just see the red pen just uh, sniff into the, into the, uh, 
I've got the white pen tonight. The red <laughs> pen's gone. It's, yeah. I've, I've got rid of all of the ones you want to get rid of. <laughs> I love it, mate. Uh, hey, uh, Roosters. Roosters were fantastic against the Storm, uh, winning 18 14. I must admit, I watched this game. Uh, it was an absolute ripping game. It was a ripping contest, mate. And the two big boys, she was. They were going out of that first half. The last 10 minutes of that first half was as good as you'll see, Gids. Yeah, it was uh, It was one of the most aggressive games I think I've seen. And it was you know, two of the big boys going at it, which is always great to see. Two heavyweights, um, JWH and uh, Nelson Asafa Solomona. So, yeah, there was a bit going on in the tackles. There was plenty of big hits. A couple of them crept up a bit hot, too high. And it, and it was literally getting getting pretty fired up. Um, Hargrave got Sinbin there for a little bit of extra work with his by his chin, I think it was, uh, on the ground. But, yeah, it was getting pretty fiery. Great to see. A um, couple of big hits but, uh, and also, yeah, a pretty nasty one with uh, Victor Radley, which he's got to sit out this week now, unfortunately. But, yeah, bad head knock, bad concussion. And it means the Storm are going to win this week to, to secure a top four, the double chance, to be honest, kids. So, um, And wouldn't you love to see a Rooster Storm somewhere meet in that final series? Because, gee whiz, I reckon it would be absolutely on. Oh, mate, all the fans would, would absolutely love that. You can, you can, you can imagine the build-up. The media will will uh, yeah, replay some of that footage there from that game. So I think we all look forward to hopefully them crossing paths again in the semis. What about the Raiders, mate? They got the job done against Manly, who have been really disappointing, haven't they? Yeah, look, the Raiders, uh, I, I think they've been one of the more tougher, resilient teams to have a crack at the top eight. And I, I think they're in. I know they've still got... If they win this week, they're definitely in. But I think they've um, they've won a few people over with the the way they've beaten uh, the Sharks. I remember halfway through the year there, they obviously had a bit of controversy about Sticky there, the last uh, back end of the year with some of his comments, and they sort of you know, galvanised the team. And and I think they're um, they're winning some people over, and it's the, I think they deserve to be in the top eight. To be honest, what about the Rabbits, mate? Get the job done against the Cowboys. That was a good win. Yeah, rabbits. Yeah, I think they're they're building again. I think you know ever since Latrell, uh, he's not just the only reason they've they've started to gain some momentum and some confidence and consistency, but he's certainly a big part to why I believe Cody Walker plays well. I think when Latrell's on the field, uh, him and Cody have such a great combination. Damian Cook's been playing really well at the back end of the year after Origin, so. Uh, he might be out this week with uh, COVID if he can't get back in time. But yeah, I just think they're. They're flying under the radar just a little bit, the rabbits, and I see they're still pretty heavy outsiders for the grand final at this stage, but um, I think they're, they're hitting their straps. Well, kids, talking about that, all thanks to Palmer Bet, let's have a look at the odds to make the grand final, okay? On the eve of the finals, Panthers are at $1.40, Storm at 3 bucks, Sharks at 3 bucks, Roosters 3 50 Eels at 4 50 Cowboys 5 50 and the Rabbits at 6 bucks. That is a pretty tight field. You take the Panthers out of that, and uh, it is an absolute yeah. raffle. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, the Panthers obviously stand out and should be short favourites to to take it out. But you know, even even the bunnies, I think, what was it six bucks there you just mentioned? That's yeah, it's a pretty good value there. Uh, I think the Cowboys have drifted a little bit yeah, in that top eight yeah. to to challenge for the grand final. Um, I still think the Storm, you know, have the potential, and I still think the Roosters are, uh, while ever they're in the semis, and uh, they're they're always a threat. They're always a threat, and I think, mate, the Smokey, right from probably the start of the year for me, was was probably the Sharkies. The Sharkies, um, yeah. And they're probably, you know, they're probably a team that I'd, I'd like to see in the grand final. I do. I've spoken about, you know, my thoughts on Craig Fitzgibbon and how how good of yep. a player he was and I thought how good of a head coach he would be so I think it'd be good to see them there but wait and see Yeah watch this space mate it's just very very tight I reckon that market uh, there's not a lot of value there to be honest uh, you know they're all all uh, as I said you take the Panthers out mate it's three bucks to six bucks it's as simple as that for seven teams so uh, that is unbelievable what about the bottom eight teams kids who's the team that's really disappointed you uh, in 2022, and I know you're not going to say the Newcastle Knights because you've got to get back there with the boys <laughs> on the weekend. But who else? What, what other team, mate? Oh, look, you know, there's two teams for me, and it's clearly two teams that were in the top eight last year, and they're they're sitting 15th and 13th at the moment. And it is my beloved Knights and the, and the Titans. The Titans are, are, are the biggest underperforming team this year, yeah. I think. Um, you know, they're. Uh, 
they were the eighth eighth position last year. That opportunity to go into the second round of the semis, and and yeah, here they are reflecting on the year, sitting fifteenth currently at the moment. And and the Knights, well, they were seventh last year in the semi finals, and they're they're currently thirteenth. So I think those two teams would reflect on their their two thousand and twenty one season, and and you know look at the table now, and I think they they'd be both really disappointed of yeah. what they've not been able to achieve this year. Yeah, I reckon you're right, mate. Uh, and I didn't want to. I knew you were heading there this weekend, mate. And I thought, oh, it'll be interesting to see if he goes there. But uh, you did. Um, so good on you, big fella. And uh, no doubt. I think it's just it. honesty, Matty. You know, That's I think it. the team, both both teams, would would honestly look at their 20, 2021 season and look at this year and, and say, hey, yeah. we've, we've underperformed and underachieved here. That's yeah. the reality. Yeah, my oath, mate. Hey, listen, let's have a look. Final round, round 25 action. It is going to be absolutely magnificent. Eel Storm, this is going to be an absolute belter. Thursday night, 7.50 p.m. Combank Stadium, head-to-head. Eels, two bucks. Storm, $1.80. At the line, the Storm, minus one and a half, $1.90. Key stats, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Eels won their round three clash, 28-24. It was a ripping game. Eels have won four of their last five games against the Storm kids. And the winner of this game secures a top four spot. If the Storm win, it will be their eighth year in a row with a top four finish, which is just amazing. I'm all over the Stormies, kids. They're going to bounce back this I week, am. mate. They'll get top four, big fella, and they'll take on Penrith in week <laughs> one of the finals, big boy. That's great confidence, mate. It was a big game they played last week. I'm not sure if they can get up for another one like that. But, yeah, oh, I don't know. Eels back at home, Combank Stadium. They've been like, wrap the year up there. Look, Come on, it's mate. an opportunity to get... You is that a South Wales, but you semi? hate us. You it hate us, too. Victorians. You absolutely hate nah, us, well, don't mate, you? It's, it's the coins that, it's the it's that bloody coins and connection to the store. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can, um, you're no, This is a really yours. tough one. Really, really tough one for me to choo- choose a, a winner here. Yep. I, I'm leaning towards the Eels because of the way they've played out the last couple of weeks and back at Combank Stadium. But, geez, it's, there's a big carrot to be dangled in front of both teams here to be in top four, get you two cracks at it. Um, potentially have a week off, you know, after your first win in the semi final. So yeah. this is a big opportunity for for both teams to to, to get into that top four. Uh, I'm going to go after the Earls, mate, just because they're at home. I think. Mate, I'm disappointed in you, big fella. I'm absolutely shattered. Storm, <laughs> an absolute special for mine, okay? Better the weekend. The more you put on, the more you get back. Gamble responsibly, of course. That is the key yes, message. Cool. Hey, fr- Friday night, Bulldogs taking on the Sea Eagles. Couple of disappointing teams, 6 p.m. at Core Stadium. Head to head, the Bulldogs, $1.50. Sea Eagles, two sixty At the line, the Bulldogs, minus six and a half at dollar ninety. That's all thanks to Palmer Bet. The key stats, Sea Eagles have won their round three clash, 13 12 as a nail biter. Horror end of the year for both teams, mate. Manly have lost six straight, kids. Dogs have lost four straight. Manly have not had fun on the road going two and nine this year in away games. That is unbelievable. It's a bit of a nil-all draw here for mine, but which way are you going, big fella? Well, man, I can't see the Eagles having uh, any more luck on the road, neither. I'm I'm going to jump on the Bulldogs for this one, and I think it's a convincing one for me. I think the way they've finished off the back end of the year has been a much, much better Start in the um, in the first half of the year. I, yeah, it was a really tough start for the dogs this year. If we, you know, we just spoke about a couple of teams that probably um, underachieved from what they did last year. Then I, I think the actual dogs probably overachieved this year, and that's probably maybe, that, maybe that's a little bit ruthless. But they were, you know, they were always penciled in to be sort of bottom of the bottom of the table. I know they had a couple of signings, but I actually think that they finished off the year with um, with yeah. a little bit of. Uh, Class, yeah. Yeah, right. All right. So you're so I'm, uh, and I'm, I'm on the dogs here. I'm on the dogs. Right, Bulldogs get the job over. Manly done. Hey, Roosters taking on the Rabbitohs. Oh, Friday, 7.55, Allianz Stadium. Head-to-head, the Roosters, $1.90. Rabbits, $1.90. At the line, the Roosters, minus one and a half, $1.90. This is going to be a beauty. Key stats, all thanks to Palmer Bet. It's the opening of the new Allianz Stadium. This is going to be huge. A lot spoken about, kids. Uh, it looks magnificent. I am looking forward to it. I'm going to be watching this on Friday night. Rabbits won their round three clash, 28 to 16. Souths have won seven of their last nine. Roosters have won seven straight. If Parramatta beat the Storm, this will be the week one finals matchup. Winner will get the home field. So that is a very interesting wow. point there. So there's going to be a fair bit watching the night before's contest. This is going to be magnificent. But after last week, kids, I I, I couldn't tip against the Roosters. I thought they were just up and about. They were enormous. 
Yeah, yeah, mate. It's a top game there by the Roosters last week. And what did you say? They've won seven straight. I think you just mentioned. Seven uh, mate, these are the games that I wish I was still playing. You know, the opening of Valiant Stadium. The oh. stadium looks amazing. You know, one of the best in the world, is I, it a I would imagine. Gigs? Do you know, I, I think so. I think I heard him spoke spoke about that during the week that it was a, a sellout. You'd expect so. Oh, I think um, the atmosphere, wonderful and ground, and, 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 and mate, the old rivalry, roosters and rabbits rivalry is always a big one. Right. I don't know. I feel like the rabbits. I feel like the rabbits get up for this this old rivalry. I mean, yeah. it's hard to go against the roosters, but I'm probably leaning towards the rabbits. Just one to twelve because I know. The Roosters have got a few out. I think uh, Victor Radley's out. Um, I think maybe Matt Lodge might be out. I think they've got about three out with concussions or head knocks from last yeah. week or, or injuries. So I think that might just take a, a little bit out of uh, out of the Roosters' sting from what they did last week. So, yeah, lean towards the Rabbits and probably just that old rivalry. I think the Rabbits will, will just reflect on um, what's gone before them and they'll be up for this one. Either way, just jump on, watch it, get involved. If you can get a ticket, good on you. Uh, it's going to be brilliant yeah. to see, that is for sure. Hey, uh, Saturday, 3 p.m. at Mount Smart Stadium in New Zealand. It's the Warriors taking on the Titans. Uh, the old Gold Coast boys, I reckon, they're just going to be looking forward to the trip home and uh, having a few cans, I reckon, just to commiserate <laughs> a pretty disappointing season. But head-to-head, -head, the Warriors, $1.55, Titans, two forty-five. At the line, the Warriors, minus five and a half, dollar ninety. Key stats here, Gids, Titans won their round two clash, 20-18. to 18. It was a real tight game. Titans have won two out of their last three. Warriors have won one out of their last seven. Both teams will want to finish Ooh. the season on a high, won't they? Geez, that's a bit of a nasty stat. One of their last seven, the Warriors. But look, back mate, home, though, mate. Back home, I, uh, mate. If there's a place I don't want to be going as a as a uh, as an Australian based team, it's Mount Smart for the last round when you've got nothing to play for. Yeah. So, mate, that'll this game will just come come down to who who's going to be up for it, who wants yep. to be up to it mentally, mentally. Like it's a it's a tough gig for the Titans. There's nothing to play for other than a bit of pride. They're away from the wooden spoon. They can't make the top eight. So someone needs to be driving driving the standards here and saying, hey, we're, um, let's finish finish the year on some sort of positive. A but bit of pride. You've got to live up to that. So, mate, I'm going, I'm going I'm leaning towards the Warriors for this one. I think um, the Warriors will certainly be up for it. They won't need to find any type of enthusiasm other than um, what they need to deliver for their fans at home. Yeah, and springboard into next year, isn't it? Uh, that's a, that's what it's all yep. about, to get a normal season next year where they play half their games at home, um, you know, training at home, all that kind of stuff, the pre-season. So yep. they've done a great job, I reckon. Well done, the Warriors. Amazing job. Been a tough yep. couple of years, that is for sure. Hey, uh, what about Saturday 5.30 p.m. at Nestrata Jubilee Stadium. It's the Dragons taking on the Broncos. Head to head, Dragons two thirty five. Broncos a dollar sixty at the line. The Broncos minus three and a half, a dollar ninety. Key stats all thanks to Palmer Bet. Broncos won their round seventeen clash, thirty two to eighteen. Broncos have only won one of their last five games. Dragons have only won two of their last five games. And the Broncos need the Tigers to beat the Raiders by at least twenty plus, and must beat the Dragons by a similar score to make the finals. So, Gids, I reckon it was about five bucks last week, um, the Raiders, to get into that eighth position. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, uh, believe it or not, I reckon the Raiders are in the box seat here. Mate, for sure. I think uh, I think there's absolutely no chance the Broncos on this one because what, what you said, the, the Tigers have to beat the Raiders by 20 points by and 20 the Broncos plus. have got to win. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. There's a bit to go, but, unfold but how, there. How are the, kids, uh, I, how are the Broncos a dollar sixty here favourites? You just at the moment the way things are going, and I, I just I reckon the boys at Palmer better got this wrong. I might be egg on my face here, but I reckon it's no, yeah. no. I agree. look. I think um, team sheet wise, the Broncos probably look more impressive, um, and what they were able to achieve with that that team list during the year. But they they've just gone completely off the rails there. Yeah, they're massively under pressure. The the pressure is all on the Broncos to to make the top eight after the, the good middle part of the year they had, and um, they they played really poorly uh, right at the crunch time. So I, I think the dra you know what I've played in games where I'm, I've been in the Dragons position. I've been you know with the Newcastle Knights where we had to win to stay away from the wooden spoon, and we were playing the Tigers who had to win to make the top eight, and 
you know what, our motivation was we didn't want to win the wooden spoon, but there was also some motivation there. Hey, let's knock off the Tigers and some kind of ruin their party as well. That's it. So it was a bit of a ruthless approach, but mate, I've, I've got no doubt the Dragons will be like, well, we can't make the top eight. Let's knock these bikes over so they can as well. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I reckon I'm on uh, the Dragons. Yeah, I, I just I, you could not back the Broncos with any confidence at the moment, especially not at a dollar sixty. So uh, interesting. Hey, Cowboys Panthers Saturday night, seven thirty-five PM, Country Bank Stadium. Head to head, the Cowboys a dollar eighteen, Panthers five bucks. Is this right? Am I reading this right, kids? At the line, the Cowboys yeah. minus seven and a half, a dollar ninety. Yeah, mate. You know why? <laughs> The Panthers are resting, I think it's 13 players. Oh, I'm, I'm actually looking at this and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, this can't be. This is set up. Nah. I thought you boys are stinging me here. So the key stats, 13. all thanks to Palmer bit, right? Panthers won their yeah. round 12 clash, 22 zip. Panthers have secured first place. Okay, so they've got a guaranteed uh, top four spot, double chance. If the Panthers and Storm win, they'll play against each other in week one of the final. So, um, so that's... That's why. So 13 players getting rested. No, they're not the making the trip up. Nah, nah. The, what, you know, why would you go sending your, your best team up to North Queensland when you, yeah, you, you've got to concentrate? They won the prim, they won the minor premiership last week. They got awarded that yep. at their home ground. And there's absolutely no need to be sending your, your best players up to North Queensland on a, you know, uh, spending time on a flight and around airports and playing a game, potentially injuries and unfolding into the semi. So, Yep. yep, mate, anything. So I think the, the numbers I've seen was they're rest, resting 13 players this week. And I, I think Nathan Cleary was meant to return this week from suspension, but uh, I, I can't imagine he, he, he's been named. Yeah. Do, do you know, this is why they brought the buy in in the AFL gets because this happened uh, a few years ago. So this is why they've got a buy for this uh, yeah, week but, in the finals because this happened with Fremantle. Right. They didn't come over. They'd done exactly the same thing. Uh, and this is why the AFL turned around and, uh, dropped the, so we had a buy in the AFL down here last yeah, week. Yeah, right, right. So yeah, so it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, so I'll be I'll be I'll be keen to see what might come of it. Um, you know, moving forward because yeah, uh, it, you know, it's it's it's, it's just it's, I suppose it's the integrity of the competition, isn't it? In some sense, yeah. yeah. You know, um, so yeah, watch this space. Hey, uh, Knights yeah. v Sharks, Sunday, 2 p.m., McDonald Jones Stadium. Don't worry about the head-to-head, mate. This is going to be an absolute cracker <laughs> because our man Kirk Gidley is going to be in the same get-up he's in tonight <laughs> on the Don't Argue, and he's going to be there. He's going to be revving the boys up at number 143 for the Newcastle Knights. Head-to-head, mate. The Knights are five fifty. The Sharkies are at fifteen at the line. The Sharks minus $18.50, dollar ninety. Key stats, Sharks won their round four clash 18 zip. They pumped them. Sharks need to win to get home field in week one of the finals. So that is going to be pretty important. Can your night skids cause a little upset for the old boys on Sunday or Saturday? Sunday, I should say, 2 p.m. Sunday, Sunday, 2 p.m., mate. Well, you know what? It's been number four, Matty. I can tell you uh, there hasn't been too many games lost on old boys day. You know, right. it'll be a couple over the, the most recent years. But um, a very, very high percentage of old boys' day in Newcastle have, have been get successful. The job done. Right. Yeah. So, uh, what, can, can just take us through. So, do the boys get revved up by any of the old boys? Do they get down in the rooms? Do they get amongst it? Do they give yeah, them a bit yeah. of a fire up speech? What happens? Yeah, man. A select few down to the down to the sheds before the game for a little pre pre game talk, and then uh, players go out to warm up. And when they go back to the sheds, uh, about 130 old boys. Uh, guard of honour and a very tight guard of honour and just firing them up and slapping on the backside on the way out to um, try and rev them up. So, I mean, if you can't get up for this game, then you'll you'll never get up for one and you probably shouldn't be here. So, <laughs> I've got some got true confidence and belief, mate, that, uh, that the enthusiasm of all the ex-players there might just, uh, might just create a little bit of something under the jersey. I love it, mate. I, I just... But uh, also, to be honest, I'm also... I'm also I'm also concerned. I'm also concerned that the Sharks can get a home semi if uh, if they win. They've got a bit of play for still. That's a fair the key. incentive there. 
That is the key, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's going to be a ripper anyway. Good luck to your boys, mate. You're going to have a cracking day no matter what. Hey, Tigers v Raiders, a little bit of interest in this. Sunday, 405, Leichhardt Oval. Head-to-head, Tigers, 375. Raiders, $1.28. At the line, the Raiders, minus 11.5, $1.90. Key stats, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Raiders have won, or won their round one clash, 30-12. to 12. Raiders have won six of their last seven games. Tigers have lost four straight. And if the Raiders win, they lock in their spot in the eight. It's as simple as that. They're going to come out. They've got to get the job done. And uh, Gids, I expect that they're going to do it. Yeah, I expect that they're going to do it. It's just so much to play for. I mean, that, if, that's what six from seven of the, uh, six wins from their past seven games. There's some great consistency. That's, that's yeah. perfect, uh, almost perfect leading to the semi finals. And you know what? If they get this one up, there's seven from their past eight. And it's actually some momentum going into the semi final. So. Yeah, I don't think they need to go out and, and play anything extravagant. I think they can, um, you know, play reasonably conservative and, and wear the wear the Tigers down because they're just they're just too fragile. The Tigers, I think, from what we've previously seen during this year. So, but just a huge opportunity as, as far as you know, effort wise to uh, make sure we get the job done to to get in the semi-finals because who knows what could happen when you're there. Beautiful gigs. Now, listen. What's your best bet? What's your super duper multi for the week, mate? What are you, what are you looking at this week, gigs? Because you nearly pulled it off. You only just yeah. got nutted last week, buddy. Oh, I would have been that proud of that one last week too. I'm spewing. <laughs> oh, uh, mate. But mate, I've gone best bet. I, I like the dogs. I like the dogs thirteen yep. plus. To be honest, um, two sixty. I think the, the yep. Eagles, mate. They've their heart and soul was gone from. Slightly when Tom Trebovich was ruled out and then Jake um, towards the end of the year. So those two guys just mean so much to that club and that team. And then obviously the controversy around the uh, the, the, the pride jersey that um, it seems like there's a divide uh, there. So I, I'm on the dogs pretty heavily with this one, 13 plus and best value dragons, one to 12, four bucks. Yeah, beautiful, mate. I love it. Dragons, you've got you, the Bronx, Broncos. You, so. You're in pretty good nick, mate, let's be honest. And now you've got a big weekend ahead. I know you're excited. I can just sense it. I can just feel it, kids. I reckon <laughs> uh, win, lose, or draw, I think you boys are going to have a wonderful afternoon on Sunday. Well, um, man, I've got, I've got, I've got the Knights old boys put on a Hall of Fame dinner. There's, new, there's about three new Hall of Fame players inducted on the Sunday night, straight into Old Boys Day, 12 o'clock kickoff awesome. Sunday. What a weekend. Ooh. What a weekend, <laughs> mate. It is going to be absolutely massive. Hey, listen, and so is the final series. I'm looking forward to it, kids. Uh, a fair bit at stake. There's still a few positions that can change in that uh, that top eight and you know top four spots, all that kind of stuff. So it is going to be a wonderful where, uh, round of NRL action this weekend. And then we head in to a final series, which I reckon any one of those teams in the top eight, if they get a bit of momentum, uh, anything can happen, mate. So get involved. Gamble responsibly. All thanks to the boys at Palmer Bed, of course. Uh, do it in a responsible manner. Download the app, get involved. It is really, really simple. You've got the bookies bag, plenty of options. They love their uh, NRL betting, and there's so much same game moldies, all that kind of stuff. It is sensational. Like, subscribe, share. Give kids a share out if you see them at the rugby on Sunday, mate. And you have a wonderful weekend, big fella. And I love it. A great story. Uh, the old Knights, old boys, mate. Sensational. Sensational. Looking forward to a great weekend of footy, mate. And of course, catch up with a few of my uh, ex teammates and, and, uh, and staff members. So it should be good. Who's uh, who's odds on, mate? All thanks to Palmer Bet to get the uh, the three votes on the weekend. Do you reckon, mate? Out of the old boys. Oh, out of the old boys, uh, Big Chief Harrigan or what? Matty pa- I, I always love stirring Matty Parsons up. Two thousand one grand final winner Parso. He's about two meters tall. He's about one hundred and forty <laughs> kilo Parso, but Rattly I'm just cage. like the annoying little little. I'm the little yeah annoying shit that just keeps peppering him. And, <laughs> yeah, it's good value. Uh, good on you, mate. You have a wonderful weekend, Gids, and uh, it's going to be a great round 25 of NRL. Certainly will be. All the best of us.